All right, here it is. Bro, I think some hobos gonna be camping in there to avoid the storm. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey guys, I just woke up. My plan today to record the video was I was gonna go do a bunch of stuff, but I looked out my window and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out. So we're just gonna have to improvise and make the video at home today, which you know, that's fine. You know, like I said yesterday, sometimes things don't go how you expect them to. Dude, my bed head is so funny right now. <laughs> sometimes things don't go how you expect them to but that's what makes life fun. So I'm just gonna hop in a cold shower. Big man, Justin. That's me. That's my dad. He's the best. Bro. I can't believe we're out of apples. I mean, bananas. <laughs> we got apples. Always well, we start the day with some fruit. Trust. All right, boys, I've been talking to you in the Discord and you told me I should go to the gym. And I was planning on staying home and recording the video, but I'm just gonna walk through the snow anyway, you know? Going outside, part two. But it's like way colder this time, so I'm gonna need to get really warm. You already know, wearing the same pants every time because they're my only warm pants. Man, the Discord has been popping, bro. Like, crazy. There's like 800 people in the Discord in like one day. I've already met so many of you and made so many friends and connections and I just feel so blessed and grateful to have this place where I can connect with so many awesome people. <sighs> These gloves are crazy. Classic fit going on here. We got the boots, just like the good old, good old times. Got the brown pants, gray jacket, black beanie. My friend made me this pipe. It's an Asian lady. I'll talk more about that later. Man, it's moments like this when I really just reflect on life. Like I'm just walking in the middle of the snow, just walking like two miles. It's like, bro, I'm really having this experience right now. <laughs> what? This is happening. It's like my mind can't even comprehend the fact that my reality exists rather than not exist. It is cold as hell. And a part of me was like, bro, you might get like hypothermia. Your lips might turn blue and fall off. And then I remembered Wim Hof, fucking Wim Hof climbed Mount Everest in a pair of shorts. He didn't even wear shoes. He says it's all in your mind. Cause you know what? All is mine. All is mine. The universe exists in the mental because it can only be perceived by the mental. If it were not to be perceived, then it wouldn't be. So I was mine. Guys, I think I might actually die. <laughs> it's like way colder than normal. It's gotta be a Viking, bro. You just gotta get through it. Doesn't matter. If you know, you know. Man, I'm really out here right now. I could freeze to death. This could be the end of Ryan. But you know what? The community would still live on, even if I was gone. The love I left behind will be who I become. I feel like these videos immortalize my soul because when I record them, I am my most authentic self. So if I were to die, you could look at the video and I would still be there because it's my real self. My energy would live on through the pixels on the screen, through the sound waves that I left behind. It's like the ultimate journal or diary because it's so much more real. It's like, they say a picture tells a thousand words. I say a video says a million words. This is how you create a legacy, boys. And you know what? I'm willing to freeze to death for my legacy. 
I'm starting to lose feeling in my face, but that's okay because I have faith. I have faith in God. I know God does not want me to lose my face, and if He does, then so be it. I trust His knowledge more than I trust mine. People ask me, how do you know what God is? And it's like, bro, God is everything. I just say God as a placeholder word for what I imagine to be everything combined. The all, that's how they say it in the Kabbalion. The all, source, the divine light. Life is just a series of patterns. Patterns with feelings and thoughts. It's crazy. This is so wild. It's kind of fun, I'm glad I went. The energy, man, it's real. The energy, it's all around me. I can feel it from the trees, from the ground. Go outside, man. Honestly, I didn't even want to go outside today, but the people in the Discord motivated me, told me I should do it anyway, be a Viking. And I'm doing it, and I'm glad I am, because it's a whole new world, man. You gotta get out of your head. And being in your head is the same as being in your house. That's for real. I made it. I don't know why I'm surprised. Thought, thought maybe I wouldn't make it, but I did. Okay. A lot of people ask me why I smoke before I lift. So I'll just explain that here. I feel like it helps me um, feel more. Like I can feel every fiber in my muscle like tearing. And me personally, I like that because it makes me feel more efficient, I guess, or like I'm actually getting something done. Because when I'm sober, I never feel it as much. I don't push myself as much. Like, I don't know, I just, when I smoke, it really helps me get in the right mindset. And that's just me. And also, I don't follow a routine or anything. I just do what feels right. And today, I think I'm going to warm up with some pull-ups. I like to just hang on the bar too. It helps me loosen up. It's good for your grip strength and your forearms too. I also like to do a thing where I lift my legs up, get an ab workout. This is a really nice stretch for my back. <sighs> All right, now that I warmed up my back, I'm gonna warm up the front with some dips. Dips are elite, bro. Dips are like the best workout, I'm telling you. My dad told me in high school, in his gym class, some Mexican kid was like really jacked. So we asked the kid, how do you get so jacked? And the kid told him, just do dips. And he's right, that's the trick. Right, I'm gonna do a little more dips because I didn't feel very warmed up. So just go on feeling. That's my biggest tip. <laughs> like I could have just done one set of warm ups, but I felt like how I felt. I'm like, oh, I don't feel very warmed up. Now that I know that, I can do more and get properly warmed up. I'm gonna warm up my wrist and I'm gonna do some handstands. I've been trying to practice handstands more because I wanna develop that shoulder strength, get those bolder shoulders. And I know handstands is a good way to do that, especially if you do handstand push-ups. I got some 50 pound, 50 pound dumbbells. Do some shrugs with them. Now most of my body is warmed up, at least my upper body, which is what I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna start out with some push-ups when I'm, I'm gonna get two boxes. That way I can get my hands past my chest, get full range of motion. The second set is always easier than the first because you're so sore that you can only do like half, half the amount of reps.
You know, I feel like Eminem. I used to have a blonde buzz cut in high school. If you know, you know. Mom spaghetti. All right, boys. Oh, oh shit, this is thick snow, bro. It's getting all up in my socks. But anyway, I was gonna end the video, but then I remembered on my walk home, there's an abandoned house over here. It's like creepy. I think some like, some really bad shit has gone down in this house before. That's what I've heard. I don't want to get into the specifics because I might get demonetized, but I'm just saying this shit might be haunted. All right, here it is. Ooh, scary. Haunted house with a giant dick spray painted on the side of it. Bro, I feel like some hobo is going to be camping in there to avoid the storm. Fuck it. Let's check it out. Hello? Hello? Dude, I swear I just heard someone. Fuck this. I swear I just heard someone. <laughs> I hope that picked up on the camera. I just felt like a vibration, like someone thumping on the ceiling. Right, we're in the haunted abandoned house. Hello? Bro, do I go in the basement? <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Hello? Anyone home? Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm going back up. <laughs> Fuck that. Hello? Oh. Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> okay, I don't think anyone's here. Yeah, I feel like the floor is gonna break. Oh. Ow. Yo, who locked that? Dude, well, I was here like a year ago and this was not locked. Bro, I feel like I'm gonna slip off. <laughs> Alright boys, we're standing on the roof of an abandoned house in the middle of an ice storm. So, I figured this would be the best place to give a motivational speech. Honestly, bro, when I started making my videos, I did not know anybody would watch them. I didn't think anyone would ever be interested in the things I'm interested in, but you know, I realized that I'm the only person who will ever truly appreciate my art in the way that it was intended, you know, at its deepest level. So the only person's opinion I really need is my own. And I realized that and instead of focusing on the success and the views and the subs and all that shit, I just focused on myself, man. I just, I focused on the quality of the videos and the effort. Like I was like putting everything into it. And then the greatest feeling for me wasn't like watching the views go up. It's going back and watching the videos and be like, damn, bro, I made that shit. Like, that's crazy. That's cool editing, bro. Like you put in the work, you really did. You went out and did that shit. And that's truly what fulfills me. And then now I have this support and it's not the views or the subs or anything that makes me happy. It's seeing all the comments of people being like, Hey man, I watched your video and it like really changed my day. Like made me get out there and go do something with myself. And like seeing shit like that, man, that fulfills me. That truly fills my heart, man. Going into the Discord community I made yesterday, there's like a thousand people already. And I just go in there and talk to y'all and like form connections. And it's so beautiful because you're all so much like me. Like we're all on the same wavelength. And it just feels good, man. I feel like I finally found my people. I finally found myself, most importantly. Like, I didn't find the people until I found myself. I didn't find the success until I found inner success, you know? The inner always comes first. And once you get your self-love figured out, then the rest of the love will come to you, you know? So many people spend their whole lives chasing love when it was inside of them the whole time, you know? People who are obsessed with relationships or getting married and all that, it's because they want someone to see him and appreciate him. But the thing is, no one will ever see you and appreciate you in the way that you can. You're the only person who can be your truest supporter. And I mean that with all my heart. You have to come to terms with yourself, man. Realize, like, damn, 
I've made it this far. Like, sure, I'm not perfect. I'm not who I want to be yet. But if I compare myself to who I was a couple years ago, that's that's all I need, you know? The, the growth is the whole point, the journey. It's not about the destination. There is no destination. It's just a never-ending journey. And once you realize that life is a game, then you can really start playing the game, you know? It's like, before you realize life's a game, you're an NPC who's being controlled by the game, and once you realize it, now you can control the game, and you can make the changes, and you can spread whatever energy you want to spread. And for me personally, that's love. I just want to spread love, and I want the whole world to feel in love with love, and in love with themselves. And yeah, I feel like I'm finally doing it. I'm putting in the work. I'm on a fucking haunted house in the middle of a snowstorm talking to a camera, you know? Like, I didn't have to do this. I didn't even feel good. I wanted to stay home, but I was like, nah. You never know what can happen if you just step outside of your comfort zone. So that's my message for today. Much love, baby. All right, boys, that was fun. It was a good day, good adventure. I'm excited for many more. If you wanna join the community, the link is in the Discord. You know how it goes. Most loving community on Discord and on YouTube and in the world. I wanna shout out my ballers. The ballers right now are Slammy and Benj. And in the future video, if there's future ballers, I will shout you out too.